shot. Thank you. 
It's the, it's the choir mics. Huh? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, we're turning off those mics now. That's actually oh, yeah, it's the choir. No, the choir mics are what's pushing the audio through. Oh, it's not the stage, but it's the choir mics. Like it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can hear it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, who's it? Oh god, he probably heard us say it's us. <laughs> it's Anthony. It's Anthony. 
please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. I now want to introduce the senior members of our Watchlong Hills Choir who are going to be singing the Star Spangled Banner. Now, please welcome our salutatorian, Miss Emma Learn. Good morning, class of 2023, faculty, administration, staff, families, and friends. Before I begin, I would like to thank my parents for their endless sacrifice throughout my journey in high school. And I would also like to take a moment to appreciate all of the other graduates, parents, and guardians who have supported every graduate here today. Although we may have not thanked you this morning, we all realize that our success are only possible due to the help each of us has received over these past four years. Fellow graduates, it feels like the last few months of our senior year have gone by in a blur. Between all the special celebrations for our class, 
final assessments, and last club meetings and sports practices, our graduation, an event that once felt so far away, is now finally upon us. This morning, I want to share with you something that I will always remember when I look back at our time at Wachung Hills. As we are currently sitting outside on the beautiful, sunny June day, I ask you to close your eyes for a moment and try to picture the winter morning commutes to Wachung Hills. During those months, it was completely dark as we left our driveways, but as soon as we reached the parking lot of the school, the sky completely transformed. Each day was different. Sometimes pink and blue hues framed the school building. At other times, there are hints of orange from the sun peeking from behind the clouds. The beauty of these moments was that they did not last, last long. By the time we sat down in our first period classes, the magnificent colors had already disappeared. Yet too many times, we missed small but significant moments like the fleeting sunrise over the school. On some days, we may have been too preoccupied with the schedules laid out before us, whether it be thinking about the uh, next test we had to take or the next competition we had to compete in. There have been other mornings when our teachers have seen us practically sleepwalk into school. We often take for granted that there were many more parts of our daily lives that contained that subtle kind of magic. Even walking in the hallways during passing time was an experience we sometimes ignored. When we first entered high school, the sheer size of both the school campus and the student population were over overwhelming. But everyone sitting in front of me now knows that when moving in a steady stream with your peers, Watch on Hills feels small. Here and there in the sea of people, you recognize familiar faces from your third period English class, your track team, and even those who you pass by every day on your way to the lunchroom. Suddenly, Watching Hills wasn't as big as it initially appeared. There were also times when we found ourselves laughing with our classmates and teachers. It could have been about a funny comment a student had made the other day, or an entertaining anecdote from a teacher. I'm sure that in 10 years, I'll still remember the history fun facts and the cheesy physics jokes I have learned in my classes. The sense of community we felt here will give us something to strive for as we say goodbye to Watching Hills and as we prepare to meet our new peers and mentors. At first glance, these snapshots of our daily experiences may have seemed inconsequential, but as time passes, they may hold more meaning than we think. Together, they do not merely contrast the larger events that have occurred during our four years at Watching Hills, but rather, I like to think of them as defining the time we have spent here together. Class of 2023, as I conclude, I implore you to take a moment to reflect on some of your often overlooked memories. Before we walk off this field for the last time in our high school careers, it is important to look back before we move forward. In the future, when we encounter new hallways, crowded campuses, or unfamiliar workplaces, I want to remind all of us to anticipate and appreciate the many sunrises ahead. Thank you very much for your kind attention this morning and congratulations class of 2023.
Now it is my honor to introduce the valedictorian and my dear twin brother, Ronald Lern. Good morning, students, parents, faculty, the Board of Ed, and friends. Before I start, I want to express my gratitude to Superintendent Jewett and Principal Labrera for giving us this opportunity to come together one last time in celebration. We also want to share this morning with our teachers, counselors, and staff, and thank them for the tireless work they have put into our education. And like my sister, sister mentioned a few minutes ago, I want to thank my parents for the unconditional love and support they've shown me ever since day one. Graduates, I hope you can also take the time to thank your family after this special morning. Class of 2023, today is our day to celebrate what we have done together. Four years of time spent meeting new friends, studying late at night, and working through the triumphs and challenges of high school have gotten us to where we are now. When I look back, I think about how our collective experiences have made our community stronger. I'm talking about the feeling of screaming at the top of our lungs to cheer on our team during homecoming, banding together at the last minute to cram for an upcoming test, or posing for pictures in front of the waterfall at prom. It's moments like these where our connectedness is really apparent and where Watching Hills community shines bright. As we step into a new stage of our lives, the community that we have built over the last four years will live on. However, it's also clear that our individual paths will diverge. I like to think of this next chapter as an open road filled with limitless opportunities. But with so many choices, which opportunities do we take? Whether we like it or not, our future plans make up a defining moment of our high school years. It's natural for those around us to ask about our next steps like where we might choose to further our education or what type of job we're getting out of high school. At the same time, I want to remind you and maybe even myself that we, it's also natural for us not to have our entire life plan sorted out yet. Rather, I believe we should recognize that there's nothing wrong with doing things spontaneously in life. Instead of laying ourselves a concrete path where we need to micromanage every step we take, we can embrace the process of choosing what we want to learn, where we want to work, and with whom we want to live. While we may be prone to pigeonholing ourselves into studying only one thing or working towards a singular profession, we must not allow ourselves to live in a vacuum or fail to explore the diverse perspectives around us. Just as high school was a time for us to try out different clubs and sports, this experimentation is something that we can continue for the rest of our lives. It might seem risky to view life as a kind of experiment, but I like to think of this idea as something that already works at a larger scale. For example, take building a startup, whether in manufacturing, marketing, or tech. When growing a company in its early stages, iteration is key. You have to make and break things repeatedly, and by putting things out into the world quickly yet responsibly, you can get feedback sooner to improve your product. By viewing your business model as an experiment, you therefore give yourself more flexibility to try out new things and learn from whatever mistakes you may make. In this fashion, it's then possible for your company to adapt faster and ultimately become more resilient to whatever challenges may be thrown at you and your team. Fellow graduates, I ask today that you embrace the scrappiness within you. This scrappiness I'm referring to is the boundless spirit that already lies in our teenage hearts. It's something we need to hold on to, even when the realities of life may weigh us down. In some sense, we all need to stay hungry with the desire to continuously reinvent ourselves, challenging how we see things, and not being afraid to make mistakes. We need to embrace the messiness that's just a normal part of life, and only then can we learn to grow and gain confidence in ourselves. So, let's not forget that we have the rest of our lives ahead of us, 
and approach it with the boldness that we have already demonstrated during our time at Watching Hills. As you stand here ready to toss your caps in the next hour, I hope you will channel the excitement that you're feeling into whatever endeavors you may pursue in the future. Congratulations again. Celebrate this amazing moment and remember always what it means to be the warrior that you are. Thank you. And now it's my honor to introduce the members of chorus who will be singing the song, Home. Good morning and congratulations, class of 2023. It is always a humbling experience to address a class on their graduation day. I have been in awe of you individually and collectively over your years here. 
and especially this year. To see you interact and enjoy one another while setting and raising the standard for other classes has been inspiring. Today often marks the gateway between yesterday and tomorrow. Many conversations around this time are based on your immediate future. What are you doing next year? Where are you going? What are you going to be? However, these questions can remove us from the present. And although we are so proud of you because of the work you have done to prepare to move on to the next stages of your life, I want you to know from my own life experiences, sometimes there is a tendency to lose sight of the moment by solely focusing on future events or the next accomplishment. One of the advantages of being a parent and a high school educator is the tremendous overlap between family and work. There are times when I can find what is going on at home to watch on hills and vice versa. I am constantly learning about seeing the world through your eyes rather than the eyes of a previous generation. At home, my nine-year-old daughter likes to know details and often reaffirms her knowledge by asking questions that her mother or I have answered countless times before. There are times when she becomes fixated on the upcoming event, whether it may be a party, vacation, or an outing. And I worry that sometimes she misses the beauty of the now. I realize that my perspective is different. I'm attempting to slow her time with us, where she is excited and fixated on her future. In my own life, I blink, and it seems that the years fly by, where she is eager for upcoming events or what she has seen or her older siblings experience. However, at the same time, she wants to have complete control of her future. I think sometimes that the question serves as a security blanket for her so that she feels confident about what is upcoming. But a difficult life lesson to learn is that no matter how hard we try to plan or ask questions about the future, no one can completely predict tomorrow. And by attempting to control the uncontrollable, unfortunately, we may miss the beauty in the current moments. But as you graduate today, I want you to assure you that you are all capable of handling your future. A few weeks back, I was at Monmouth University watching our oldest graduate. We were admiring the decorated caps where several stood out, like some here this morning. There was one cap in particular that caused everyone to laugh, which read, today I graduate and I am hotter by one degree. However, there was a writing on one cap in particular that resonated with me beyond the ceremony and I thought it was appropriate to share with you all this morning. The writing on the cap read, I trust the next chap because I know the author. So while no one can completely foresee their future, please know that as you leave Wachung Hills today, you are all the author of your own story. Believe in yourself and your abilities. You might not be able to know all the nuances of the future, but as the author, you control your narrative, and with your talent, I know you can write an amazing story. Trust that you are ready for your future, and I implore you not to look past the present moment. After today, as a class, you may go in different directions, but not now, not today. Look around as your classmates. Take in this moment, as you are all here today as a collective unit. Please remember that you will always be a part of something amazing here at Watchung Hills, and you will always walk together as warriors. I encourage you to not only wonder about the future, but also to live in and ask about the present moment. While I am excited to turn off the morning alarm and enjoy the slower summer months, I would be remiss if I did not take this moment to celebrate with the class of 2023 who rallied to have Miss Tobin kiss a pig. As a class, you have handled yourself with such unity and enthusiasm during your time here. 
There have been numerous twists and turns and a fair share of hurdles, but you have risen the standard of being a Watch on Hills warrior. From hosting a home football playoff game, to show us the beauty of singing in the rain, to winning a sectional soccer title in dramatic fashion, to the countless awards and achievements, you truly are a remarkable class. You have made me proud to be your principal. May you enjoy each day and all of your tomorrows. Dr. Jewett, it is my honor to present to you the class of 2023. Good morning, Watchung Hills graduating class of 2023. Today, we gather here to celebrate an incredible milestone in your lives. In preparing my remarks, I thought, what can I say to the graduating class that has had the most unique, unique four years of any high school student in recent history? Your first year at Watchung Hills ended with the onset of a pandemic. And your last full day as seniors at Watchung Hills culminated in what many have been calling the smoke apocalypse. However, the sun is certainly shining down on all of you today. Throughout your journey, in addition to the challenges you have confronted, you have also encountered numerous opportunities and choices. Some were easy, while others demanded you to step out of your comfort zones. In each instance, you were, forced, you were faced with a decision to say yes or to say no. As you stand on the precipice of your future, the advice and challenge I leave you with today is simply this. Say yes. Say yes to embracing new experiences, seizing the unknown, and exploring the possibilities that be lie beyond the boundaries of your fears. It takes courage. It takes the willingness to take risks, to step into uncharted territory, and to believe in yourselves. But when you say yes, you open yourselves up to a world of opportunities. Say yes to growth. Be open to new ideas, new perspectives, and new knowledge. Seek out diverse opinions and engage in meaningful conversations. Be eager to expand your horizons and broaden your understanding of the world. Say yes to making connections. Reach out to others, form meaningful relationships, and build communities. Be open to collaboration, to sharing ideas, and to supporting one another. Recognize the power of collective efforts and the strength that lies in unity. And finally, say yes to passion. Pursue your dreams with unwavering determination. Find what sets your souls on fire and dedicate yourselves to it wholeheartedly. Never settle for mediocrity, but rather, Strive for excellence and make a meaningful impact in whatever path you choose. Class of 2023, I implore you to be a generation that says yes to making a difference, to pursuing your dreams, to creating a better for world for yourselves and for those who will come after you. Today, as you step into your future, say yes and let your journey be filled with endless possibilities. Thank you, and congratulations to you and all of your families. <laughs> President Morrison, Vice President Bernberg, members of the Watchung Hills Regional High School Board of Education, I certify that the members of the Watchung Hills Regional High School Class of 2023 assembled here have met and exceeded all local and state requirements for a high school diploma in the state of New Jersey 
And now, with the authority given to me by the New Jersey Department of Education and affirmed by the Watching Hills Regional High School Board of Education, I declare the Watchung Hills Regional Class of 2023 eligible to receive their high school diplomas. Congratulations. Now it is my honor to introduce our board president, Mr. Robert Morrison. Thank you, Superintendent Jewett. Good morning, parents, relatives, faculty, staff, fellow board members, honored guests, and of course, the class of 2023. As a member of the Board of Education, this is my favorite day of the year, a day when we get to look out and see all of the graduating class assembled one final time before we move the tassels signifying the change from classmates to alumni. Now, our job as a school is not to prepare you for the world as it existed yesterday or even today. And I can think we can all agree that today's world is vastly different than the world just three years ago. No, the job of this school is to prepare you with the tools to confront, analyze, respond, shape, and ultimately succeed in a world we have yet to imagine. If we've learned anything over the past three years, it's just how quickly our world can change. And knowing this means you embracing the idea that your world will be different. 20 years from now, our nation will look very different from today, just as it looks different from 20 years ago, before there was Amazon or Google, Netflix or Tesla or AI. Most of the companies that will dominate our society 20 years from now are names we do not know in industries that have yet to be invented. Your world will be different. But how different? Well, my grandfather had two jobs in one industry over 50 years. My father had three jobs in one industry over the same time period. I've had 11 jobs in three industries over 35 years, including three of mine own making. Yes, today it's estimated that you and your peers will have four jobs before the age of 32 and between 15 and 20 jobs throughout your career. Yes, your world will be different. Yes, your world will be different, and that's okay. Embrace in it, relish it, take advantage of the chaos and disruption these circumstances have created to your advantage. Crisis creates opportunities, and a global crisis that has impacted every living being has created unimaginable change and possibilities. And knowing this, here are three short pieces of wisdom I'd like to share with you. First, life is a, pa a journey, so find your passion. If you've already have your career pathway figured out, congratulations and go for it. For those who do not, that's okay. You're in good company. I'll let you in on a little secret. I was not a good student at all, mediocre at best. And when I graduated from high school 40 years ago this week, I had no idea what I wanted to do. The same thing may be true for some of you, and that's okay. Keep looking. But look for something that's meaningful to you, something that inspires you, something that stirs your passion. As the saying goes, if you find something you're passionate about and can make a career out of it, you'll never work a day in your life. Second, relentlessly build your network. Both of my children will tell you this is something I have constantly preached. Volunteer for the professional societies and associations in your colleges or career pathways. Introduce yourselves to the thought leaders in your fields of study or occupations. Correspond with new acquaintances. Get to know your competitors. Volunteer in your community and help out with a cause that is meaningful to you. This will help you build your own network and it's your network that will be the key to opening new personal and professional opportunities as you grow throughout your lifetime. Lastly, protect the most important asset that you have your reputation. 
As I lecture at colleges and universities throughout this year, this is one point I share with all the students. Your resume might be responsible for your first job, maybe your second. After that, it is all your reputation. Are you a great person to work with? Are you dependable, honest, creative, a responsible team member, someone with integrity, someone who can be counted on to get the job done or not? As I mentioned, I've had 11 jobs in four industries. I've used my resume one time, and I didn't even get the job. Your reputation will be your guiding beacon, illuminating your path to future opportunities. So find your passion, relentlessly build your network, and protect the most important asset you have, your reputation, and this will lead you to success regardless of the vocational pathway that you choose. So yes, your world will be different, but given the resilience, creativity, and the intellect I've seen in you, and the robust foundation our distinguished faculty have provided, I'm confident in your ability not to just survive, but to thrive and invent this new and better and, yes, different world that lies ahead. And all of us here today cannot wait to see the world you all will create. Now, on behalf of the Watchung Hills Regional High School Board of Education, it is my duty and profound personal privilege to accept and congratulate the Watchung Hills High School Class of 2023. Congratulations to you all. I am honored to personally recognize our first two graduates of today's ceremony who will be announcing the Wachung Hills Regional High School District Class of 2023. First, President of the All-Student Council, Ryan Fabian. And next, President of the Senior Class, John A. Williams III. Batul Abbas. Ronald Frank Lern. Michelle Alvarez. Emma Faith Lern. Julia Cardozo Alves. Noah Batel. Heronisa. Demir Gill. Landon Max Bush. Nikhil Ahuja. Carly Algor. Dylan Aiello. Nicholas John Azarello. Aria Adusamili. Joseph Ryan Bechtel. Logan Abate. 
Anthony Autenreath. Orestes Antipas. Jonathan Manu Barrera. Keith Anderson. Rebecca Babb. Matthew Buscarino. Asmar Best. Alessandra Abejon. Michael Damian Brezen. Brian Amorum. Walter Bonjour. Walter. Anthony Alzate Alzuta. Victoria Articunis. Sky Ajax. Julie Ayers. Candelaria Agliar. Brooke Barone. Kayleen Barone. Anthony Bargash. Michael Banker. Chris Burton. David Castellano. Michael Barros. Mead Briggs the Fourth. Zoe Arkellian. Natalia Benkowski. <laughs> Ava Arosa. Ava Buckwald. Kayla Bardolia. Avery Bryan. Lydia Azob. Jenna Rose Casal. Aliyah Daniels. Christian Lionel Calvo. Natalie Chavez. Jimena Corrales. Natalie Cuevas. Ben Cupid. Kendrick Kali. John Kalindas. Joseph Camargo. Melissa Cosentino. Alyssa Chelik. Jasper Bontemaze. Eileen Ertl. Jake Anthony Bellotti. Logan Chen. Justin Britton. Stephen Chang. Anmal Singh Bhatia. Sunny Chang. Ellie Beliarchik. Sebastian Cunha. Isabella Betancourt. Julia Rose Clemente. Nicole Marie Cicchetti. Kayla Cullinan. Brett Julian Christopher. Julia Emily DeMontagnac. John DiMaggio. Darian Blake Cohn. Alexandra 
Leah Damola. Lily Ann Coleman. Ganav Desai. Shi Wei Deng. Nayan Elma Garuin. CJ Cole. Michael Edward Eckert. Madison Savalas. Christopher Doss. Maya Chun. Marina Doss. Isabella Di Giovanni. John Paul Doucette. Sammy Dower. Ethan D'Souza. Gianna Del Negro. Davier Dort. Donald Davison. Lydia Eberly. Matthew Fogarty. Catalina Diaz. Tiago Fonseca. Rachel Elevathingle. Paul David Ferreira. Samantha Emmanuel. Lauren Fish. Gaetano Formizano. Corey Edward Fickling. Nadine Galal. Christian Francisco. Jessica Gillespie. Samuel Galvis Torres. Hannah Gollum. Ian Chong French. Emma Grochowski. Nathaniel Gabriel Flores. Eleftheria Georgiou. Ethan Gallick. Paige Fabio. Jack Gable. Ramon Fami. Claire Gillenwater. Kennedy Frado. Morgan Marie Groff. Rachel Friedman. Mia Giegrich. Charlotte Friedman. Nathan Russell Gennaro. Jack Fernandez. Nick Harrison. Sarai Isaura Gonzalez. Eli Harris. Brianna Gaviria. Andrea Garcia. Alexander Gepper. Grace Guo. 
Lauren Grieco. Samara Harmatz. Osiris Graves. Charlotte Holiday. Alec Graf. Vasav Gupta. Daniel Gerges. Ava Rose Hadigan. Nerio Garcia. Sabrina Herkert. Ryan Getzaw. Shivani Alicia Howe. Nicholas Gasparino. Alexia Hodawanik. Kevin Hain. Melina Hamoud. Dylan James Kelly. Sean Gubatosi the third. Jeremy Hu. David Quinn Hatcher. Tej Jasty. Gabriella Henriques. Martin Howell. Sophia Glenos. Tyler Katz. Jonathan Michael Hold. Arel Huba. Christian Hagel. Cameron Jadidian. Nico Iconomides. Rami Cater. Sabrina Hugh. Athena Iwanu. Angelina Huang. Tyler Isherwood. Isabella Huang. Devro Landerman. Katherine Jin. Julian Kush. Atherva Kuliampur. James Neil Langston Jr. Isis Jorge. Kendall Page Lee. Frankie Lee Lynn Irvin. Caitlin Sarah Lee. Shaylin Joyce Jelmert. Jenna Langer. Amber Wong. Gabriel Jojashvili. Raymond Lavender. Abigail Cohen. Sujay Kathaneni. 
Amirin Kaur Sundu Lerner. Rayan Al Quran. Catherine Cleo Leunis. Braden Kolakowski. Kira Larson. Nicholas Lazaro. Ethan Limbo. Sarah Isra Khan. Alex Lipkin. Lauren Haley Kopelman. Alexander Leho. Kelly Klump. Justin Levine. Oh! Kate Ann Lavelle. David Labib. Dennis Lay. Ava Elizabeth Labozo. Akari Kondo. Valentino Anthony Labozo. Ashvi Kohli. Gianna Victoria Labozo. Lada Martin. Jamie Lippett. Jillian Lopez. Ainsley Grace Linsky. Alexander James Lopez. Alyssa Jade Leong. Jessica Madura. Alicia Lee. Kenneth Marr. Alice Liu. Andrew Lopez. Stanley Liu. Tyler McGallis. Wesley Liu. Devin Martino. Eric Liu. Meher Maholtra. Benjamin Liu. William Samuel Margulies. Amir Lewis. Cynthia Ming. Matthew Lombardo. Harini Mandalapu. Gregory Levin. Farron Martin. Gavin Martinetti. Sienna Hiusan Martin. 
Carlos Martinez. Harry Lou. Laura Matos. Evelyn Logan. Anthony Matos. Aiden Mello. Jenna Mazikin. Lucas Mello. Amanda Medina. Jacob Melter. Kevin Roman McHale. Isabella Mercado. Matthew Martins. Kylie Miller. Jake Dominic Mazza. Jordan Miller. Christian Matlos. Dylan Moffitt. Nick Martino. Bilal Mir. Riley McCann. Leonardo Miguel Morales. Savannah Magliaro. Delmas Morales. Samantha Magliaro. Dawn Mitchell. Aileen Montoya. Sonia Kennedy Maria McNaughton. Rohan Mera. Ariani Nevis Magalens. Adrian Mejia. Madison Amy Moran. Joseph Mealy. Matthew Jeremiah Mina. Sean Martin. Vincent Anthony Miller. Matthew Maximo. Zach Micheller. Claire Negri. Diana Monteroso. Kayla Brielle Nunez. Gabrielle Claire Mineri. Isabel Mada. Claudia Polka. Grace Morris.
Katherine Michelle Pimentel. Tommy Morris. Abigail Petrich. Jack Murray. Madeline Pagalanawan. Kyle Navarro. Marin Petrika. Sebastian Nunez. Jason Ng. Ivan Bjorn Nilsson. Noah Paradise. Matthew Nathaniel Nuzzi. Advet Patel. Nicholas Gabriel Marrera. Magdalena O'Reilly. Thank you. Matthew Mark Novello. Ashley Patetta. Hamza Nawaz. Ismail Marin. Robert Nunn. Satvik Rapaka. Aaron Opel. Diego Petricholi. Michael Olivia Potenza. Nicholas Perillo. Philip O'Grady. Vanj Patel. Dominic Popolo. Ashish Noel Paspula. Sneha Prabhu. Juliana Francesca Pantarero. Rodia Kater. Gabriella Pento. Nikolai Gregory Shabilsky. Marissa Piccinini. Juliana Ramos. Nicholas Carlo Orsillo. Adelaide Raffion. Lorenzo Michael Picario. Nicholas Pringle. Jack Potter. Yeah. Brianna Ramirez. Yeah. 
Alec Petruli. Haley Lynn Ramirez. Vikram Ravashankar. Carlos Rivera. Julia Ann Elizabeth Puglisi. Isabella Reitz. Anna Schick. Yasmin Satsas. Autumn Victoria Rodriguez. Thomas Schweitzer. Marissa Rivera. Dan Scalera. Jaden Ramos. Daniela Rosati. Jada Ramos. Olivia Schmidt. Lauren Rich. Isabella Rogue Samoz. Kate Riley. Alexandra Schroeder. Theodore Persopolis. David Michael Scally. Gianna Michaela Rodden. Lucas Vinhas. Ava Marie Prisco. Matthew Evan Simon. Arjun Rathi. Trennan Jake Stannard. Dylan Reyes. Alexander Steyer. James Xavier Roche. Arjun Srinivas. Alex Russo. Josraj Singh Sani. David Rodriguez. Crosby Sayan. Arion Ulash. Kendra Taylor. Sabino Ruz Diaz. Yeah. 
Georgiana Tillinghast. Dylan Simon. Anthony Ergales. Anthony Yang. Tess Van Manen. Thomas Velasak. Eddie Wright. Kaylin Vias. Lucas Ventura. Kyla Thorborn. Ethan Arvia Weber. Josh Schwartz. Marion Valente. Joseph Vecchio. Gabrielle Nicole Vonsek. Jonah Siegel. Mattingly Weischoltz. Ian Youngelson. Alina Shu. Hunter Soybert. Anthony F. Yang. Ariana Nicole Tommaso. Robert Young. Jenna Marie Tobia. Kevin Yaboa. Isabella Grace Valenti. Dennis Yildermaz. <laughs> Vanessa Tao. Lucas Michael Standridge. Quinton Tao. Ismael Williams. Alex Antonio Rodriguez Escobar. Joseph Giannis. Samantha Marie Raymond. Kashan Zaidi. Juliana Marie Raymond. Jenny Shu. Chloe Tu. Angelina Ye. Samantha Traster. JJ Zhang. (laughs) 
Sonia Shahane. Caitlin Zhang. Sarah Renee Vignes. Brenda Zhang. Gia Shukla. Brian Zhang. Bailey Unchester. Andrew Zhu. Elizabeth Vreeland. Jolyn Yang. Sia Wadare. Zai Yang. Renee Ye. Ian Wiseman. Aileen Riaz. James Wong. Corey Singleton. Maggie Roden. Kaylee Vargas. Lucas W. Rizzo. Samira Velichetti. Daniel Shen. Hayden Shapiro. Logan Michael Schuler. Nicholas Rodriguez. Marissa Nicole Chapani. Shina Sadana. Ricky Rasden. Aiden Rosa. Christopher Schmidt. Joshua Rubin. Alex Scavo. Angeli Urena. Evan Yu. Alexander John Zakov. Now, I will ask the members of the class of 2023 to please stand. Please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Let the recessional begin.